the U.S. Department of Commerce ranked 55 industry sectors by their level of IT intensiveness. Education was ranked number 55, the lowest, below coal mining. For the last hundred years we've used the industrial narrative. Schools are like factories, it's an administrative process, it's about control and order. The kids are having a much more stimulating and rich environment outside of schools than they are in school. Kids are very rich content developers today through their social networking sites. They're big communicators through email, instant messaging, and text messaging, and yet all of those things are banned from their schools. Every turned off device is potentially a turned off child. We have to accept as educators that technology is not really a choice. It has created a world. It's just not here to help you teach traditional subjects. It has invented has emerged a completely new environment. It's about relationship, it's about community, it's about connectivity, it's about access. Children are living now in a, in a, in a different space. They're living in what, what I call uh, nearly now. And nearly now is that space that they text in, that space that they update their Facebook entries in, the space that they um, Twitter in, you know, the space that, that is not quite synchronous. Now, it's a really interesting space because it's not adversarial, it's not pressured. It's a space where people can, it's all the R words, they can reflect and retract and research and, uh, and repeat, you know, it's a very, it's a very gentle word. I'll tell you what, it's a great world for learning. If I could remodel a classroom of today, I, I'm not sure it would be a bricks and mortar classroom. So the student is at the center and school is just one of the ways and places that they learn. But they also learn through communities, at home, in museums, in libraries, and of course online. It's about providing the best quality teachers no matter where a student lives and making those bridges. It's wandering around the city with their cell phones and collecting data the kids will be doing outside of school. School might be the place where you come together to do joint projects, uh, where you social network, where you do some of the other kinds of enrichment things. We've got a classroom system when we could have a community system. It's about opening the door to NASA resources to the labs that are being developed online at MIT and connecting these students to the kinds of opportunities that will fundamentally shift their academic experience and make them better prepared not only for college but for life. You start with the teacher. If I want my students to be making global connections, then I'm going to give the tools to my teachers first and provide them with opportunities to connect with other teachers around the world or other teachers around the country. The task here is to give teachers a place where they can swap authentic ingredients and their evidence that those ingredients are safe and tested. Do you know that doesn't exist anywhere in the world? I've just been part of a, a big project that I think is going to change that and change that radically. We have to develop a narrative that sustains 21st century learning. If we simply apply standards, if we simply have a, a steady regime of standardized testing, that will make things better. When in fact, it is economically actually a foolish idea because the jobs that these kids in school will be having do not call for this kind of right answer vending machine approach. Life No Child uh, Left Behind fades away it enables local creativity and innovations. They will be doing work that calls on their artistic abilities, that calls on their abilities of synthesis, that calls on their abilities of understanding the context, that calls on their abilities of working in teams, that calls on their abilities in some sense to be multidisciplinary, multilingual, multicultural. So the coin of the realm is not memorizing the facts that they're going to need to know for the rest of their lives. The coin of the realm will be, do you know how to find information? Do you know how to validate it? Do you know how to synthesize it? Do you know how to leverage it? Do you know how to communicate it? Do you know how to collaborate with it? Do you know how to co problem solve with it? That's the new 21st century set of literacies. And it looks a lot different than the model that most of us were raised under. Now we're looking at a whole different range of schools. We're looking at schools that are producing genius, collaborative, gregarious, uh, brave children uh, who care about stuff like their culture. And to build schools that do that is a whole other challenge. And around the world, you know, people are testing out the ingredients of what makes that work. And those ingredients are being assembled into some just stunning recipes in different places. It's a very exciting time for learning. It's the death of education, but it's the dawn of learning. That makes me very happy.